Okay, ladies and gents, uh, I'm here with the BYD C Line 7. This is the top spec all wheel drive, excellent strength. I'm at 10%, so I'm gonna show you the percentage. I'm gonna plug the car at the ION at the SC, if we can pull um, to 130 kilowatts, if I'm not mistaken, which is the top charging speed. And oh, there's, a, there's another one, look at this. So there's another one coming in. It has illuminated badge. I'm wondering, does my car have illuminated badge? I haven't noticed that. Uh, but here, I'm at 10%. It should take 24 minutes to get to 80%. We're gonna test that, see if it's gonna happen. And yeah, uh, I did preheat the battery. I think you can hear the heat pump. It's not really loud. So we're gonna plug in and let's, let's try it out. Uh, I'm actually going to see with this uh, person next to me, which has, I don't want to film it uh, or violate someone's privacy. He has a be beige interior or something like that. So this must be some sort of different uh, spec. I'm going to ask him because I see he has a coastal license plate. So uh, let's get out and uh, plug in the car. So actually I should probably turn off the car, but I'm actually going to keep it running. Uh, I think it's fine. Let me just grab the charge cart that I have. So, yeah, okay. So let's let's check this out. So yeah, mine doesn't have the uh, mine doesn't have the illuminated badge on the rear. It must be a different market. Okay, so let's see. Someone was charging here before us. So I'll need two hands just to plug this in. Okay guys, I just talked to the owner. So he has the uh, Sea Lion, but this is an import from China. And that's why he has the illuminated logo. The rest of the car is the same. The interior has um, some sort of like a beige, uh, but you can see my CCS, this is the Chinese so they have two connectors. He has this adapter. Uh, he's, he, was, he started charging at 50, but he's pulling 134. Uh, but import of this car through Albania cost him 29 and extra nine to get it to Kosovo uh, to homologate the car and register it. So in Croatia, the base model, this is the base model starts at 50 a uh, thousand euros with taxes and this one has uh, 19 inch alloys i haven't checked the configurator in croatia but this will definitely uh, give you more range so it's more efficient okay the owner was kind he wanted me to show the interior so you can see uh the color of the leather uh it's it's the same so it's just uh, i think this is a great combo it looks great uh it's a shame that it's not available here in europe at least uh not through um, creation channels okay uh, I've demonstrated the Chinese and European uh, counterpart so let's initiate the charging so um, start okay tap the card there we go so I, I left the car on, I was talking with a gentleman, so, but it should be fine with the battery. It shouldn't be cold. It's, uh, the car was on and it's pretty warm outside comparing to Zagreb yesterday when it was minus nine, here it's nine. So 20 degrees difference, if my math is correct. Okay, we're off, so. 10%, let's see, to 80%. If it's gonna be 24 minutes, as the EV database suggests. It's pulling nicely, 126. So, let's see. 221, it's ramping up. So I think I could hear the heat pump running.
222. Okay, let's get into the car and see what the car shows. So, on the display, we're pulling same 221.4. So, it says here to get to 100%, it's 45 minutes, which isn't that bad uh, comparing to the CLU, which took an hour. Okay, so the car is pulling pretty nicely. I mean, we got 5% in like maybe a minute or two. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated. So I'm gonna get out, check out the screen one more time. So, yeah, in two minutes, we already got 7% in the battery. So I'm gonna update you. We're in five minutes, almost 30%. Uh, we got to 227, so. Uh, 230 is the max so probably gonna peak maybe in a minute or so so it looks like it's dropping now I hope it's not uh, thermal throttling I'm gonna check it inside so but it did peak probably on the inside of the car yeah it's just dropped to uh, 215 uh, it's dropping to 200 now okay we're gonna see if we're gonna get to 80% in that 24 minutes that EV database has mentioned. That would be really awesome if we could reach that uh, percentage in just 24 minutes. So guys, in 10 minutes, we've charged almost 45. So I'm confident we might make it to 80% in just 24 minutes. Let's see if that's gonna happen. I think it's very likely with this charging rate. Okay guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit with the owner. Um, we're almost here for 20 minutes, 67%. Still pulling 155 kilowatts, so which is pretty good. We got into the battery, or it was at least delivered 60 kilowatts. Uh, it's not that cold, so there's only a little bit of loss for the heat, but yeah, almost at 70% in almost 20 minutes. Okay, guys. I wanted to check the. Uh, I wanted to check the inside. We're pulling still 100, almost at 80 percent. Says here 19 minutes to get to 100 percent. Let's see the uh, display here. I think we're here for 24 minutes. So we got almost to 80 percent. Um, it might rise up. Okay, let's say it's 80 percent. 24 minutes. That is really good. I mean, this is usually the time we just continue off um, from my experience, but this has a larger battery and, and it's an LFP, so 800 volt architecture. At 80% it's starting to drop now, but it still was pulling 100 kilowatts up to 80, uh, which is great. So you can just continue driving if you have a second leg or just go, but I'm gonna stay here just to see how much time it takes to get to 100%. Just checking, still pulling 90, 17 minutes to go. So it feels like this time is dropping faster. Okay, so here's the uh, adapter for the Asian uh, counterpart. So they have two, I think this is for the DC and this is for the AC, if I'm not mistaken. So a little update, 28 minutes, 84%. It's back to 100 kilowatts. So there might be a little bit of uh, th thermal throttling. So it just dropped to 90 and going back so you can see it's just dropped again uh, it was really nice chatting with a gentleman from Kosovo if he will watch the channel so he did subscribe so yeah I'm gonna get into the car it's not really cold but it's better so he really got a good deal and I like the illuminated badge on the back uh, safe travel uh, I'm not sure why we don't have this in Europe but uh, also this part was in piano black and this one on this one it's not and I definitely uh, I showed you the interior it's definitely better looking the brown sort of leather yeah okay let's get inside so you can see the blind spot is reacting to me so I think yeah I was here for I, excuse me, I will be here for 45 minutes total, which is great for 90 kilowatt hour battery, 91.3. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I mean, okay, if I was with 0%, maybe it would almost take an hour. But considering everything, this is pretty good. So as a Tesla owner, you know, I'm a little bit of jealous uh, because of the LFB chemistry. It has more cycles. It's going to last longer. Uh, BYD also has eight years warranty, which is the same in Tesla, but it's uh, 200 kilometers. Uh, mine is 192 for the long range, which is similar, but uh, generally the LFP battery uh, will degrade through time less than the classical uh, battery that I have. But yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy, uh, honestly, with the BYD. As I've said in my review, it's a really great and solid car. Um, great build quality, great design. So if you're not someone who's looking for a Tesla, I think BYD is a great deal. But um, what I've, when I've talked with a gentleman here from, uh, from Kosovo, yeah, uh, he really got a good deal. He saved with the import around 10,000 euros. I mean, if this car was, uh, let's say, 45,000 euros, without all the uh, you know tariffs this would be much better deal this is the top spec it's the most expensive one but even the base model he instead of paying 50 paid uh, 40 so or a little or a little bit less so he, he got a really great deal little update on the screen after 32 minutes if you want to get to 90 that's the time pulling 65 still if you are traveling long distance and you have a second leg also a great time to leave you didn't spend too much time but it's gonna take 45 obviously to get to 200 okay guys we're at almost uh, 100 percent six minutes to go still pulling strong 65 now I've connected uh, the car to my personal hotspot so you can see you can watch YouTube and you know um, this is great uh, I said in the CLU and I was wrong so yeah uh, you just needed to download the app I don't have the account but someone has downloaded it here or it came uh, pre-installed so let me just see here if I go to the app menu Amazon music I don't yeah, actually, I don't have the account. Okay. Now oh, you need to sign in. So, but still, you can use that. There's also Spotify. So, uh, you know, you can go to the BYD store. Let's see if it actually works. I haven't included this in the review, but I might as well include it here. So, yeah, there's here apps, tools. Let me see here, browser. Okay, there's karaoke, so maybe not too many apps, but maybe they will just add more in the future. Uh, there's Calm Radio. So, I th actually, I think I have this in my Tesla. I recently just noticed that. But anyways, um, yeah, all the good stuff is here. So, uh, the seal, you didn't have this menu, but the, uh, or the seal, but the, Sea Lion does. It is a newer model, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not sure if they're gonna bring this to the other models or not. But yeah, it would be nice if they do. Okay, while I'm waiting for four more minutes and still pulling 40 kilowatts, thanks to the LFU battery, uh, I've noticed there's an arcade here in a browser. So I've downloaded those. Uh, so let me just see here. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, there's a lot of emails here, and okay, agree, enter the browser, okay, oh, so you just, uh, I guess type in here, you have the Google, so, yeah, you can just like, okay, I'm not going to advertise any uh, news media, but uh, you can just search the web here, uh, so it has that which is also what Tesla has and let's hear the arcades I'm interested what kind of games do we have here um, okay okay 
Oh, oh, that's nice. I have that in the Tesla. This is something different. Okay, it looks like uh, some interesting games here. Maybe more interesting for kids. So, yeah, you, you can kill some time here while charging. So, let me just turn this on. How do you start the game, though? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a classical, you know, um, um, you know, so, yeah, okay, you get the picture. There's also calm radio, let's just see that one. It's a bit longer video now, but whatever. Oh, so you can just like play one of these, um, you know, uh, piano, so it's nice and relaxing. Yeah, it's of course I think using my data, not the cars, but uh, okay. That's nice. That's nice. Definitely with the Dyna Audio, uh, this is really nice sound. Okay, I can't play that too, for too long now to get a copyright strike, but I'm definitely going to enjoy this on the way back to Zagreb. Uh, we are almost done. 99%, look at this, two minutes to go, pulling 30 kilowatts. It will eventually drop to 20 and finish. Yep, looks like we're gonna be here for 45 to 100%, just like the trip computer or the BMS uh, has calculated. And, ooh, uh, well, the charging station has delivered 93, so there was maybe three, four kilowatts left uh, or spent for, uh, you know, pre hitting the battery and cable loss. Um, but the ch station is delivering still 35 yeah so we're gonna finish up soon um yeah i gotta say you know considering everything pretty good ev and pretty good alternative to tesla so one minute to go and we've just completed so the range is 544 kilometers oh wait i switched to 463 Okay, uh, let's see how much time did we spend here. So we've spent 48 minutes in total, delivered 94 to 100%. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, you know what to do. A like, share, comment below. Uh, if you found this video by accident first, do check out my detailed day review. There's a night review, uh, point of view driving during day and night point of view driving with review or my impressions behind the wheel see you in the next one bye